Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to today's Bitcoin update for Tuesday 20th of September. Things are heated up, the market is looking so weird right now. And uh, you know, let's talk about the next situation that is about to happen for Bitcoin right now. Okay, And uh, from here, you know, the objective is that you're now below $20,203 and you know, people's mind are, uh, a lot of traders, you know, they, one thing they don't understand is that Whenever these green candles happen to the upside, they tend to, you know, change their opinions all of a sudden. Like, yeah, it's a green candle, but you really got to put checks. You really got to put a lot of checks. Just because it's a green candle doesn't mean a start of a bull run all of a sudden. Um, so what it means is that, you know, putting in maybe a resistance line like this can help you. Just a simple resistance line previously before. But anyway, um well, we're going to see a lot of people just making mistakes again and again because what I do see uh, when I talk about this one, if I dive in into the daily, I do see Bitcoin maybe making a recipe of going to the downside. Now, there's a dragonfly here <laughs> and the funny thing is that this is a very funny dragonfly right there. It doesn't have any logic right now. Okay, so uh, I did have a trend line right here. This trend line is actually being lost right now. And uh, I'm pretty sure that you've already backtested and failed. And now you're looking to actually go down. Number two is that you've actually lost the 0.618 as well. And uh, in my honest opinion, guys, um, it could be even looking for the 1.618. Today's Tuesday. Um, I have my all eyes set on 21st of September. Okay. Tomorrow there's an uh, there's a news coming in. <clears throat> I think, uh, what is it? Is it the interest rate coming in out with the Fed meeting two thirty Eastern time? I told you, and uh, you know, thirteen of uh, September was a date that you know we had this big huge sell off. We might have another big sell off tomorrow once again, and who knows? It can actually be a big cr crash to the downside. So I'm not trading anything because I don't like what is going on in the charts. To be honest, there's a lot of to talk about there's uh some few things i want to talk about guys uh number one is that uh, on the four hour time frame what i want to say about bitcoin is that um you know you actually did put put in three white soldiers a little bit you start to make a doji right there in the mod in the middle if in the next two hours 46 minutes you see bitcoin actually dropping like this then that's just a continuation to move lower okay so when you go down you are going to go in waveforms okay so you're going to go down like this you're going to go up you're going to go down go up a little go down go up go down so that's the downtrend okay so lower lows and lower highs right now okay um the next thing that i want to show you is the vanguard okay so let's bring in the bad boy in the building now vanguard is very very uh similar to bitcoin okay uh, let's say they're like twins and whatever the vanguard wants to cough um bitcoin is gonna cough um when the vanguard sneezes bitcoin is gonna sneeze uh when the vanguard makes something funny bitcoin is gonna do something funny because uh, they're pretty much uh, you know stocks that you must be looking at to compare bitcoin you, you can look at vanguard you can look at nasdaq we're going to check nasdaq as well now what i want to say about this one is that on the four hour time frame you can see there's a clear left shoulder here the right shoulder right uh, so the head here and the right shoulder and uh, you can already see that we've lost the trend line where you're going up for the kiss of death you, you probably are going to get rejected here and you're going to see Vanguard when it opens up. I, I don't think it has opened up yet, but when it opens up the next candle from here is looking to drop to the downside. OK, and when Vanguard drops now from 234, you're looking for 12 percent drop. OK, now 12 percent drop of Vanguard can even mean nearly 20 percent drop for Bitcoin. OK, let me just tell you that. Um, so. What you're looking for is to take down the lowest point as well. So 213 is going to actually come down and take 213. So imagine what happens to Bitcoin at that time. All right. So if I show you Bitcoin, then you probably are looking for Bitcoin lowest part to be taken out as well. So if I zoom out just a little bit, that tells me only one thing. $17,600 was not your bottom. Simple put. OK, and Bitcoin is looking to come down to take that low and then continue a little bit lower. Now, let's say if you'd start to drop 20 percent for Bitcoin or even 10 percent, because at least you're going to drop 10 percent. So, yeah, 
10% actually takes you down to 17,322. But my guess take is that it actually makes even a 20% drop. So we might be looking at 15,000 ish dollar for Bitcoin. Uh, but the best part is that on the Fib retracement, that, that 1.618 is something I'm expecting to come in. So yeah, maybe 27% drop down for Bitcoin. And uh, so it's just like a river flowing, okay? It's just like uh, the Vanguard flows down and 10% uh, of this one goes down to Bitcoin. Bitcoin making maybe 20, 30% drop. And when Bitcoin makes 20, 30% drop, now talk about the altcoins down the food chain, they make incredible 60% maybe 40% at, at least okay and that's why I, t I tell you again and, and again I don't trust September and I do see a lot of altcoins making uh, you know even 70% drops to the downside things are clicking things that I was thinking of are clicking it's just a matter of time if I'm gonna be true or not I could be wrong at any time guys not a financial advice do your own research this is my own uh, research right now and it has been true pretty much so far until this point of time and thank you so much for watching the video and that's it for today's update i'm gonna see you the next one hello office